I got the linen. <laughs> okay. Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Katya. For those of you who do, welcome back. I know in my last video, I had told you that I was going to be doing a DIY or something to do with home, but I am working on the outside. I'm doing my little patio, doing a little revamp, but I'm just sprucing it up for the summertime. But it is taking a little bit longer than I anticipated. First of all, I am waiting for some furniture to arrive and be delivered. And second of all, the weather here has been beautiful for one week and now we are in the rain and it is freezing. So that's putting a little stick in my wheels. In the meantime, I thought I would still put out a video and share some of the pieces I got throughout the past month of April. Some home decor pieces that I bought and also some clothing, accessories and so forth. You guys know the deal. When it comes to my hauls, I love it all. So. I include it all but I promise my next video will be most probably either a DIY or home decor I am doing my very best to get that out but in the meantime it's a haul so I'm gonna start off with my first piece I start off with my home decor first move my way into the fashion accessories so for my first piece I had been eyeing this for quite a while every time I was going to Marshall's I got this on Marshall's and I fell in love with it but I didn't fall in love with the price so I kept going every time, looking, it was still there, waiting for me to grab it. And then, to my luck, I ended up finding it in the sale section and I got it on sale. That was meant to be. It was meant to come home with me. Let me stop talking. I want to show you my first piece. It is this wood tray. And I immediately saw fruits in it on my counter. I had this oval tray. I'm sure if you've been following me for a while, you know which tray I'm talking about. I used to put candles on there. I also put some vases, little flowers. I was sort of getting a little tired of that tray and I wanted to change it up a little bit, add some different shapes. There was a lot of round things going on on my countertop. So I wanted a rectangle square shape and I thought that this was the perfect tray to put my fruits in. I thought it was long. It went with the length of my countertops. And I love that it had the dough bowl effect where it's very old. But the thing about this is that the legs were much longer. So I ended up cutting them a little bit. I thought that on the counter it was looking a little too high. I love adding some height to things. But those legs were a little too high. It looked a little too crazy on the counter space. So I ended up cutting a little bit of the legs. And I ended up paying it $30. The first price was $60. And there was no way I was paying $60 for this. There just was no way. I'm sure some people would, but it was a little, it was just, uh, the cheap side of me was, it's a no. $30 though, that was right up my alley. $30, it was coming home with me. And I'm so happy it was still there and that it went finally went on sale. This was my first piece. So moving on to my second piece, I didn't get it at Marshalls, but I got it at Home Sense. I ended up getting these palm leaves. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with them. I wanted to change up the pompous grass flowers that I had in one of my vases on the counter space. I'm just so over the whole pompous grass. I wanted to change it up, use some different dried florals there, and I thought these pompous leaves were just what I was looking for. So I haven't tried it yet. It might look terrible but if not i know i can do some sort of diy with them so it's not lost i end up getting three packages of these i just wanted to make sure i had enough so yeah and they were ten dollars so i mean there's quite a bit in there i'm not sure exactly how many but i end up getting three packages because i wanted to make sure i didn't run out in case I needed all three. I wanted something more fuller or I wanted them to be a little bit more sparse. I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. I'm going to try it out. It might look terrible, but I don't know. I wanted to change up the florals too. So we'll see if it's not these, I'll end up finding something for sure. And I thought that even as a DIY, maybe I can do something with that too. If I have too many leftovers. So we'll see. But anyway, these were one of my buys that I recently got. So moving on to my next piece, I actually received this recently from one of my gorgeous fairy sisters. And I am so grateful to have this person in my life. She ended up sending me a birthday gift in the mail. And I am so grateful for this present. So I'm going to share it with you. It is this candle. And the company name is Coco Levy. What I love about this brand is that it is all natural. I love 
all of my natural products. I love things that don't have all of that crap in it, all those chemicals. So to start off with, that is a plus. It comes in this beautiful box. So you open it, the candle, beautiful candle, but the smell is, oh, is so amazing. Oh, yes. The cute part about this candle, and this is where I think it's such a great gift idea or even to pamper yourself. So you burn, it has two wicks on the top here. You burn it and it comes with this cute little spoon here. And what you can do is you can scoop up a little bit of the oil and you can use it as a moisturizer. All of her candles are made from coconut oil and they have this beautiful smell. It's like a two in one. So you have a moisturizer, sort of oil moisturizer, and then you have a candle that smells up any space what's so cute too about this candle it also comes with a cute little set of matches here and what i also received was i'm all about oils i love my oils and i got these two oils here one is beach linen and the other one is coco cabana i love them both but my all-time favorite is the coco cabana if you're like me and love very beachy smells or anything vanilla sweet fruity this is oh my gosh it is to die for my fairy sister i call her my fairy sister she suggested that i can put a little bit in some coconut oil and then put it in my dreads put it in my hair and i started doing that and oh my god i think it was like the best thing she told me to do it smells amazing my hair smells amazing i am a walking tropical beach so if you guys are looking for essential oils there's candles they're so beautiful as a gift or to spoil yourself if you guys are interested i'll leave all of the information down below you can go check out their website so that was my uh, third pieces now moving on to my next pieces i got this thinking to put it up in the store when this goes up it'll be available to buy on my shop so i end up getting two of them and there was something that i was immediately drawn to i thought that they were fun they were unique and they were different so i'm going to show you the bigger one first so it is this wonky looking vase. I love my weird pieces and my wonky stuff. And I thought that it was so beautiful in its own way. And the texture too. There's this size here, which is about, I don't know, maybe a foot and a half tall. And it also has another one in this shape here. This one too is very wonky. It's another vase. I think even paired together on sort of a shelf or a credenza i think paired on a council table or even on a dresser i think that this can look so beautiful together or separate if you prefer separate there's this sort of worn look to it as well which i love so anyway if you are interested i will put them up in the shop and i swear if i don't sell them i i'm gonna keep them for myself <laughs> so if no one's grabbing them they're mine that's the thing i said before and i'll keep saying it that's the hardest part about having a shop is that everything you buy you want to keep for yourself because you're buying something that you love so i think that that's one of the hardest things for me but the hoarder in me says i want to keep it all but the businesswoman inside of me says you got to sell it katya <laughs> so anyway that's the hardest part about having your own shop and loving your pieces that you get. Moving on to my next pieces, these will also be in the shop. I found these and I thought that in the perfect home, they would be the perfect little cup. I found a set of four of these beautiful vintage handmade cups. I love the shape to them, the colors were beautiful. If you are a cup lover like me, you'll understand, you'll get it, right? I've never seen a shape like this. They're simple, but they have something so fun and unique about them. So anyway, I'm super happy about these. Moving on to my next piece, I also got at Winners. I was looking for a little mat to put in my upstairs bathroom so that when we come in and out of the shower, so it's nothing special, but I still thought I would show it because it is a pretty little rug. I end up paying, I think like $20, which is amazing for a, a rug. I know it's not big, but it's still a good price for a rug. Rugs can be pretty expensive. I'm super happy. It is perfect. It's not too thick where my door can actually open. So that's the big thing that I was looking for. My shower is in the back of the door. So when we open and close that door, if there's a rug that's too big, then it jams the door and no bueno. So uh, yeah, I'm so happy I end up finding the perfect thin rug that goes underneath the door. My husband's happy. I'm happy what's not to love and it's pretty and that's pretty much it when it comes to the whole home decor i'm gonna go into the clothing part and work my way into the accessories i'm gonna start off with 
I don't even know where to start off. I have a whole pile in front of me that you're not seeing. Let's start off with the three pieces from the same store. Near my house, there's a Forever 21 and it's been a while. There was one downtown and they closed. A lot of the Forever 21s had closed. I think that they had filed bankruptcy at some point. I have no clue, but now I have a Forever 21 that opened near my house. So I am super happy, even if I'm not 21, I can still shop there, right? <laughs> Even if I'm not 21, I feel 21 inside. So that's what matters, right? I end up finding some really cute pieces, perfect for the summertime, throw-ons, and that's exactly what I was going for. I wanted something that when I go walking with my husband or I go you know, for a night out somewhere, something that's easy, throw-on, you feel comfortable, you feel still elegant, still girly in it. So anyway, I'm gonna start off with my first piece. I was going into the whole black look. I think black is one of those things, again, that you can throw it on with any pair of sandals, dress it up with a belt, or you can wear a different colored hat. I think they're easy throw-ons. So I think that's why I was drawn to the whole black thing. For my first piece, it is a two-piece set. It comes with this cute little crop top bralette with the little ties at the top here. And then it has the matching skirt, this, and it has like a little bit of a flowy at the bottom and it also has a slit somewhere where's the slit so you can show a little bit of <laughs> i'm like where's the slit hold on a minute oh it's on the other side <laughs> okay so there is a slit right here showing a little bit of some leg a little sexiness that's the thing that i love we all want to be somewhat a little bit feminine sexy but there's a big difference between being sexy and looking a little bit more a little bit more you know i don't want to say it but you guys know my way of still being me and still feeling comfortable and still being a little sexy i think it's all a matter of balance and knowing your body type and knowing what your best assets are and showing that so the way that i see it is if you're going to show let's say a midsection i will not wear a crop top and then some booty shorts and then a low deep v where my boobs are put like not that i have any but you know but the boobs are sticking out I think it's all a question of balance. So when I wear a crop top, my skirt has to be somewhat of a meaty skirt or a long skirt or a pair of trousers, just so that there's that balance where it's just not, it doesn't look like you're trying too hard. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyway, I thought that this set was the perfect balance. It had sexy, cute, flirty. It had a lot of feminine feel to it. And I thought it was the perfect throw on if I want to go for a supper with my husband or I don't know, go catch up with a girlfriend and it could be as good during the day as at night. So that's the thing that I love about the color black and the two piece sets. You don't have to worry about finding the top that goes with the pants or goes with the skirt. It's a set and it's perfect. You put it on, you're ready to go. So anyway, that was my first set. I ended up paying the top the top was 15 and then the bottom was 29 that's such a great price for the set i'm super happy about this two piece now moving on to same thing forever 21 it has this sort of taupey beige and what i love too is that there was little ties on the side here so that's the hardest part for me finding things i have a hard time finding things that cinch in my waist that actually fit on my waist so whether it's tied in the back or it's tied on the sides. I always feel like I need a tie so that it does give me more of an hourglass. I find or else a lot of dresses will hang on my body. And when that happens, I usually will put maybe a harness or I'll put a belt or I'll put some sort of thing that will make it that it'll fit better. So I am so happy about the little ties on the side, but to be honest, it's still a little bit big. But I told myself I had bought these harnesses and I thought I would wear it with a harness. The whole flowy, girly vibes. And I feel it has more of a boho. I can see it with a pair of rope sandals. Something, I don't know, something more natural and earthy with this dress. Moving on to my last piece when it comes to Forever 21. This is, I think, the best little black dress I have ever owned or seen. It is the perfect little black dress. So it is this meaty, simple black dress, but in the back, it has a tie at the back here. I tell you that dress cinches in like as if you're wearing a corset. It is such a beautiful fitting dress. And I love my dresses where they go tighter, but then they sort of flow at the bottom. I end up paying this $30, such a good, easy dress. Again, I can dress it up, dress it down. 
it's strapless but if i want i can always layer it i can put a nice little blouse underneath if i don't feel like showing my arms or even throw on a little vest a blazer paired with maybe some cowboy boots or even some sandals it depends the look that i'm going for but i am obsessed with it so if i can find it online i'll put the link there because it is the best dress i know it comes in a green like a really bright green color i was not attracted <laughs> to the green color it was not i don't know it was just not my thing but the black I wish that they had white i would have gotten the white one as well or even like a taupey color or even red or like a burgundy would have been so good but anyway i'm so happy about this black dress so moving on to my next piece i end up finding these at the thrift store i am so happy i did they are the coolest pants ever actually they're jeans so they are these black jeans but look how cool at the knee I know they're not for everybody and some of you are probably gonna be like girl i would never wear those but you know me i go for the ugly pieces the ugly cool pieces i love my boho i love my witchy vibes i love my i love it all but when i feel a little bit more grunge i thought that these were the perfect jeans to have they're so original so different i could not believe i found these at the thrift store i've never seen them they have this sort of like white stitching here I thought with some sneakers and some sort of cute little crop top. Again, easy, everyday, throw on a pair of jeans, but they're different and they make a statement without trying to make a statement. I don't know if that makes sense. But anyway, I love them. I thought they were perfect jeans for the summertime since you are showing a lot of skin with the holes. Moving on to my last clothing piece i end up getting this and this is just one of those again throw on pieces i think that are perfect to run some errands or to do like some fun activity whether i'm bike riding or something with my husband it's nothing extravagant very simple but i still wanted to share it with you because i told you guys i would show you what i end up getting this month i end up getting this one piece short set like this very simple super cute they look super comfy what drew me to this was the color it had this sort of sage green look to it and i thought whether i want to dress it up or dress it down i think that this is like such a great versatile comfortable little one piece whether you want to throw on a blazer or you want to wear it to do some sort of sport or activity i think that this is great or let's say you're doing an activity and then you have to go to the restaurant after so you throw on a blazer and you've already you know you just spruced it all up and made it a little bit more elevated you can put a little bit of some sort of i was i'm not gonna say high heels because i definitely wouldn't wear high heels with this maybe a platform or some sort of cute doc martin boots to kind of give it a little bit of an edge but anyway i thought that it was just super cute and i ended up getting this at arden and i paid it 15 dollars. so it's totally worth it i think i'm gonna get a lot of use out of it so that's it when it comes to the clothing now i'm gonna move my way into the accessories i don't know what it was this month but i was very obsessed with belts <laughs> I, I end up finding so many different belts. So I'm like, where do I even start off? Okay, let's start off with this belt. I was at Zara and I immediately, my eye was immediately drawn to this belt. I thought it was so gypsy boho. I had to get it. I love anything that has to do with coins. I thought layering it over my black little dress can be really cute you can have fun with it you can wear it with different belts you can wear it alone even over my bathing suit that's where i also saw because in the summertime i love going to the beach i thought that having this over a bathing suit can look so gorgeous and add that little extra something i saw myself wearing it in so many different ways i ended up paying it yeah it was 40 dollars it's not horribly pricey, but it's still a little bit more on the pricey side. Can you maybe find it at the thrift store? Not identical, but I'm sure you can find a similar belt like this at the thrift store. But anyway, I had to get this one. I love it. I love my coins. I thought it had me written all over it. So that was my first belt. Moving on to my second belt. I went to this store where they had a lot of H&M liquidation stuff. And I ended up finding this beautiful rope belt i thought paired with maybe a white dress or a cream dress or even over a skirt i thought this was so beautiful for the summertime i love anything rope ivory sometimes i love my monochromatic outfits where i love to wear all of either whites beige so i thought this was the perfect little belt and you guys you know how much i paid it 
I'm so proud of myself. I ended up paying it $5. Brand new, still with tags. They had all kinds of other clothing, but there was some dresses that I loved, but I was like, I don't need it. I have enough dresses. So I ended up just getting this belt, but I made $5 for it. I am loving it. The quality is beautiful. It's not flimsy. It's very structured. I think it's perfect for the summertime. So that was my second belt. I'm telling you, I had belt on my mind. I think that belts are such a great way to elevate your look. I think adding a little bit of a belt, a harness, something to your simple dress makes the world of a difference when it comes to styling yourself in the summertime. In the wintertime, I'm more someone that layers things a lot. I layer things with jackets, with vests, with hoodies, with all kinds of different textures. But in the summertime, it's a little bit harder since you are a little bit less dressed. So I love to layer it, whether it's with belts, even some scarves. I love to layer them with harnesses. So that's my way of doing my little layering effect. So that leads me to my next piece. I end up finding this beautiful belt at the thrift store. Look how gorgeous. I end up paying it, it was $10, but the quality, it's made out of leather. It has this Western feel that I love. I know it sounds crazy, but I would totally pair this with the coin belt to give it a Western boho gypsy vibe. It has gold, silver. I love to mix my metals. So obsessed with it. Love it. That's pretty much it when it comes to my accessories. Moving on to my beauty products. If you have been following me on Instagram, I did a couple stories about these products. I heard a lot about this company called Merit. I heard it was a very clean company, so I thought I would try it out. I am very picky when it comes to my foundation, my makeup. So when I find something that I like and that I enjoy, I will immediately share it. I have my go-to hourglass foundation i'll do a update on the products that i am using right now on my face as my foundation i love to change things up i have very sensitive skin i break out extremely easily i also have combination skin so i thought i would put it out there so that you know what skin type my skin is and what works for me might not work for somebody else but anyway i wanted to try this brand out because I wanted something that was a little bit lightweight, easy, on the go when I run errands, makeup, so that it's not so heavy as my hourglass. I mean, hourglass I can wear every day too, but what I love to do is mix up things. I mix my merit stick with my hourglass foundation. So I sort of put my hourglass foundation where I need a little bit more coverage and then the rest I put a more lightweight foundation on my face. And I think that creates the perfect balance. So I don't just put one foundation on my face. I actually can use maybe three different. I have my concealer, my foundation, and then I have the lightweight stick here. If you guys are looking for a foundation that you, it's an easy throw in your purse, you can carry it with you. It also comes with the little brush here. You can pretty much use any makeup brush. I already mentioned this, but the beauty blender, I'm not too crazy about. I tried it with the beauty blender and I don't feel it's settled properly. So with the brush, I feel it spreads easily, but I love this foundation stick. Super good. I wanted to get the glow serum. I had heard that it gives you a nice little glow and it also helps to spread the product better. However, this is definitely not something that I feel is necessary to buy. I end up buying it, but I mean, save your money. Maybe some people love it more than I do. Like I say, for my skin type, it just didn't do wonders. <laughs> it wasn't making me feel like glowing. Um, I love my Super Goop better. I actually love my Iconic. They do a better job at it. Okay, guys, so that was the whole haul. I hope you've enjoyed this. And for my next video, I will be sharing either the backyard or a DIY. Let me know if you want me to do a makeup update, show you some of my products that I've been loving recently. Comment down below. Let me know if that's something you could want to see anyway thank you all so much for watching thank you for all your thumbs up your comments you have no idea how much it helps my channel a lot of people don't know but when you give a thumbs up or a comment it helps with the algorithm of youtube so it helps spread my videos to so many other amazing people like you so it's so helpful so i really do appreciate all of your love and support and i am so happy of all the amazing and beautiful people i have met here so far i love you guys so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video have an amazing day Mwah!